Hi everyone, in this problem we have to prove that 3 to the n is greater than or equal to 2n plus 1 for all positive integers n. And we're going to do it using something called the method of uh, mathematical induction or the principle of mathematical induction. So, proof. So we'll start uh, by identifying our statement. So the principle of mathematical induction says that you can prove a statement regarding a positive integer n. So this here will be our statement. I'm going to call this s sub n. This piece here is not part of the statement. Um, this is what's called the quantifier. So we're going to prove that s sub n is true for all positive integers n. There's a couple steps. So the first step is called the base step or the base case, depending on who you talk to and the book you read. So the base case is the case or the step where you have to show that it's true for the smallest positive integer you're working with. So here, the smallest one we're working with is 1 because it's all positive integers. In some problems, you have stuff like this, n greater than or equal to 4. In this case, you start at 4. But in this problem, it doesn't say it's all of them, so the smallest one is 1. So for n equals 1, and basically, you just have to plug it in and make sure it's true. So 3 to the 1 is equal to 3. And then on the right-hand side, you get 2 times 1 plus 1, and that's equal to 3. So if you plug in 1 on the left, you get 3. Plug in 1 on the right, you get 3. So 3 is equal to 3. In particular, it's greater than or equal to 3. So this means that our statement is true when n is equal to 1. So we can say that by writing so s sub 1 is true. The base case is usually pretty easy. It's really rare where you have a base case that's, that's difficult. The second step is called the induction hypothesis. So I'll spell it out. Induction hypothesis. Some people um, combine these last two steps and they call it like the induction step. I like to break it down into two separate cases. It's just a little more clear in my view. So in this case, you get to assume something. You get to assume that your statement is true for some positive integer k. So you just write that down. So suppose 3 to the k is greater than or equal to 2k plus 1. And that's for some positive integer k. Positive integer k. Now if there was a restriction in the problem, like say we had, let's go back to our fake example, like say you had this in the problem, then you would specify that down here and chances are you'd probably have to use it. So in this case uh, we do know something about k. It's a positive integer, so it's greater than or equal to 1. So we might have to use that. We'll find out. I actually have not done this problem. And so now the induction step This is where we have to show that our statement is true for n equals k plus 1. So we need to show it's true whenever we replace this n with k plus 1. So typically what you do is you write down what you need to show. So we need to show NTS that 3 to the k plus 1 is greater than 2 times k plus 1 plus 1. Now, it's really important that you just don't write this down. You have to write down, we need to show. I'm going to even put this in parentheses to kind of indicate that, you know, this is not really part of the proof. This is us just writing something down that will help clarify our thinking. Like if you're taking a math class or something and you just write this down without writing, we need to show, you'll probably get it wrong because that's what you have to prove, right? We have to prove this. So whenever you're writing down what you're trying to prove in a problem, it's super important to say that you're trying to prove that. Because if you just write it down and someone looks at your work, they'll be like, well, what are they doing? <laughs> so it's really, really key to write this down. Okay, so this is where we're going. We, we need to show this is true. So we're going to use this. And we have this. So maybe let's start uh, by doing it in one line. It's a little more difficult, but it's really elegant. What I mean by that is we're going to start by writing down this. So 3 to the k plus 1. Okay. Okay. Also, using some type of like word here uh, helps. So then, you know, writing something down to let, you know, to transition 
you know, from, from the previous step. So now we need to somehow show this is true. So the key is you have to use your induction hypothesis somehow. So we have to somehow involve 3 to the k. But here we have 3 to the k plus 1. So the trick is you can write it like this. This is 3 to the k times 3 to the 1. And the reason you can do that is because when you multiply these, the bases are the same. So you end up adding the exponents. Okay. So now we can use our induction hypothesis. So what you do is you just insert the greater than or equal to symbol, right? Because 3 to the k is greater than or equal to, and now you replace it with 2k plus 1. 2k plus 1 and times 3, right? 3 to the k is greater than or equal to 2k plus 1. The 3 kind of just hangs out, you see? So everything is, is okay. And what are we trying to show? Um, we're trying to show this. We're trying to show that 2 times k plus 1 plus 1 is on the right hand side. So what's this equal to? This is 3 times 2k plus 3, right? Just distributing the 3. So we don't need huh, this many 2k's. We only need, let me come to the side here, we only need 2k plus 2 plus 1. We only need 2k plus 3. See what I did there? I just multiplied this out on the side to help myself think. So we only need this. So we can easily drop the 3 and say this is greater than 2k plus 3. You might say why? Well 3 times 2k is bigger than just 1 2k. If you have 3 2k's it's bigger than 1 2k, right? <laughs> and then what you can do is you can work backwards to get this. You can write this as 2k plus 2 plus 1. Kind of like what we did here. That's where I got it from, right? By kind of working backwards on the side. Not part of the proof. Then you can pull out the 2. So you get k plus 1 and then you have your plus 1. And so look at that. We have 3 to the k plus 1 and then you take the strongest equation slash inequality. So you take this one. It's greater than this. Let's reiterate it. So 3 to the k plus 1 is greater than 2 times k plus 1 plus 1. Again, you take the strongest one. You have to take, you can't use this one. You have to use the one that's the most strict, the one that has the most requirements. So what does this mean? This means that s sub k plus 1 is true. Right? This means our statement is true when n is equal to k plus 1. So how it works is in the, in the induction hypothesis, you assume your statement is true for k. And in the induction step, you show it's true for k plus 1. This here, this is your s sub k. So sometimes, sometimes people will write, suppose s sub k is true, but it's better to actually plug it in. So basically, in the induction hypothesis step, you plug in k. And then the induction step, you show it's true for k plus 1. Once you're done with all of this, once you do your base case, um, you know, your induction hypothesis and your induction step, then it's like your glory moment. Because then you just say, therefore, <laughs> therefore, uh, S sub n is true for all positive integers n. And here you get to be fancy and you get to use a symbol um, to like enter a proof. I use a box with an x. Some people use QED. You can make up uh, your own symbol. That's it.